Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm so, so happy to meet you. Today, I want to be showing you how I make this faceted box. It's actually a lidded box because it's got a little lid and you just can lift them up with the um, a little ribbon in there. Okay, so this is a triple because you've got three, um, three layers and I'm going to be show you how I made it. This is a fairly huge box. I use a piece of 12 by 12. And inside, extremely chocolate white, it's extremely chocolatey white chocolate browns. One of my favorite ever, ever um, biscuits. So it fits perfectly in that box because uh, this one is a gift box, but some one quite inspirational, quite special for me. Right, so I'll show you how I made it. So, first of what we need, I have used doo -doo -doo, um, a sheet of 12 by 12 the, uh, from the works. I'll show you um, a whole video of the works and I'll put the link just near the corner, guys, for you to go and check it out. And for the other box, I'm going to use this beautiful paper here. Um, this is a great selection of uh, floral and actually texture. I'll just quick and go quick through. Really, really beautiful. And I'm going to do another project with those, but I actually want to color it. So I've got a couple of ideas of project I want to do with this beautiful, beautiful paper. I love monochrome paper, by the way. Um, so yeah, really cute. Okay. So this is a template. Let me just get rid of this so you can see clearly. And I don't know if you guys want to pause the video. Um, so it's basically a sheet of 12 by 12. So you've got four squares on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you, on each side, you've got an inch um, little um, rectangular here. Now, this one on top will be the, uh, the little space when the lid goes in. And the bottom one, of course, is where it is your box will form like that. Okay, that's a shame because I've got a front camera. I've got a front one in front of me and I can't really show you. Um, in fact, probably goes just about. And then for the lid is a piece of five by five. And we've got a, a one and an eighth, two and three quarter, and one and an eighth. Because each square is two and three quarter. Okay, so that's the box. If you guys want to pause it and copy the template. And that's the lid. Okay, so let's crack on. So get my sheet of paper. Now, because this is a rectangular box, you need to decide which way your pattern will go. Now, I want the pattern to go this way. Okay, so that's my rectangular piece. Okay, so where is my scoring? Yeah, that's it. So we're going to score it. Oops, sorry. That's it. We're going to score it at two and three quarter five and three eighth eight and an eighth and ten and seventh eighth now i think you're gonna see my arm on camera hopefully not Okay, and then you rotate it and you do exactly the same. So two and three quarter, five and three eighth, eight and an eighth, and tenth and seven eighth. Okay, that's your scoring done. Now, I'm going to move my scoring tool in there. What I suggest you guys do straight away, get rid of the four tabs on the bottom, which will be um, the base of your box. So what we simply do, we're going to cut up to the first score line. And on this bit here, I'm going to literally even 
less than a eighth of an inch. Create a little engine there. Okay, so keep this first box on your right as it is, and then create a little tab because that, that will help when you fold your base to create a really nice um, square corner. And because you've got all your this, all these four tabs there, the box, the base of the box actually is really enforced, and then we're gonna leave it like that. Okay, and you just get rid of this rubbish. Then on the top here, we're gonna take a little whinge, just like that. Okay. So what we need to go, what we need to do now, guys, we need to score these diagonal lines. Okay. So if the first score line on the top here, this one, I don't know if you can see it, but it's basically this one. This is where the lid is gonna sit, so you don't have to do anything. So you need to score all these diagonal lines and create your X. So each square should have an X, okay? So I'm going to quickly speed up the video because otherwise it's gonna be nine hours long. Um, I'm using my little cute um, baby shark. Do, 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 do. This is actually from Poundland, I got it a while ago. Um, it's my little ruler. So just for you guys to understand the gist of it, you start from the first corner into this corner and you walk your way down. And now the good things about these tabs that you can see where to stop. Okay. So and now let's score it. I just checked all the lines are scored. So the vertical lines, okay, so those four here, choo, 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 we're gonna fold it inwards, so like that. Okay, just like that and then oh, what is this? and then the diagonal lines outward so just like this okay so I'm gonna start and fold it you don't have to use the bone folder because it's fairly fairly easy to just score just get rid of this because it's making a noise And then we do the, exactly the same on the other side. Now we're going to put some adhesive on the tap here. So I'm going to use double side tape. And I'm going to do two little strips. One there and one on the edge. So I recommend to use a dry adhesive because the glue will drive you insane. And I'll show you in a second because this is not going to be extremely easy to glue up. Um, so if you use a glue, the glue will move the, the cardstock on the paper while it dry, dry, 
adhesive. Once it's in place, it will just simply stick into it. And then that will be so much easier. And I'll show you in just a second what I mean. So let's try to get, now because all of your triangle will pop out, it's not going to be a really straightforward. Okay, so we start from the top, trying to align that score line with that. Okay, and press it. And then walk your way into the bottom. Okay, just like that. And then just pop your finger inside. You see, because all the corners now are popping out. Okay. You see, it's coming to together. Okay, and then we're now going to do the same with the um, tab on the bottom. So the one that we left is like a square, so that will be your final tab to idea. So that, that, and then here. So we, again, we're going to use two strips on there. it see how it's a perfect square okay and that's your box and then you just need to make sure it stays like that and then we're going to on this one we're going to put the milk chocolate rounds and we just simply pop it down in there and that's your box super cute Right, so for the lid, let me just get rid of some rubbish. So as we said, we need five by five and I'm going to use, doo -doo -doo. this is from uh, Doorcraft Paper Mania. It's a sort of color protection cast stock. And I picked this orangey mango-ish color. I think it looks, it looks really nice. Cause it, I think it's actually the same color as the petal or the flower in there you can see it works really well so I just need a piece of five by five and you've got it one and an eighth on all corner so rotate it one and an eighth rotate it one and an eighth okay just like that and then we need another piece for the inside box which is two and three quarter by two and three quarter. And I'll show you in a bit what we need that for. Okay, so we're gonna need this. So we create our lid. So you cut and create little tabs. use a paper doily so I'm going to use another one so they are from stamping up they're really really old um let's see what color should we use that or pink one mm. maybe this yeah 
and go for that. Okay, so glue. So what I, I love about this glue that is so the tip is so small and I can just glue it. Put some blobs of glue when I need it. All this space there, and then all around the perimeter in there. Okay, so what you guys do, you center it and then just press it down. Okay, and now we're going to the doily is slightly bigger the, than the two by the two three fours by two and three fours, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so ribbon. So me with my back ribbon. We're going to use. Should I use that? Yeah, going to use this Tiffany color. Was the end. I know it's messy, but I quite like it like that. So just let me know how you store your ribbons. That I find that's the best quicker way. I love the colors in a bag. Sorry, concentrate, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, so you fold in and a half and you create a little knot. So about this. Okay, and just cut the two edges. So what we're going to do with the purple piercing, we're going to create a hole in the middle. And then we're going to put the ribbon through. Just like that. Now we're going to don't worry about this little things there because we're gonna cover it with the glue. So just gonna put a bit of tape, just to tape oops, stuck in my head, just there. And then remember guys that two, two and three quarters, but two or three quarter, a little another cut cast up piece that we had. Now we're going to glue that in there. Just 
keep pressing for a few more seconds. Cover the glue. Okay, so it's all nice and tidy. Okay, let me move that. And then your lid is going to fit perfectly in the box. Okay, so what I've done on here, I have used a little strip, I think it was an inch. So we're gonna do exactly the same. Those are four strips or two and a half by one inch. And then we're just going to put a bit of glue. I'm just gonna show you one. And then just we adhere it to the each side of the square. You guys do simply press it down. Simply eyeballing it, so not measuring anything in here. Okay, and we do exactly the same for the four sides. Okay, so all four sides are done. I'm just simply put the lid in the box and that is it. I love them both, really, really love these boxes. It's fairly simple to make. So once you get the, 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 the gist of the folding, um, and the squares is so so much easier right that's it for today guys i hope you liked the video if you did please don't forget to give me the usual thumbs up because i'll support the video doing well if you're not already please subscribe to the channel i also have an instagram account i now delete my facebook group because facebook was simply driving me insane we're blocking my group every two minutes so i decided uh goodbye facebook i'm only using instagram going forward that's it for today guys thank you ever so much for watching and i will see you very soon